<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Beck here! Yay! Why am I clapping? I am an archaeologist, so I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this Ankaran sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. Where's the box, though? Since it's missing, I'm inclined to believe it was stolen, or intentionally misplaced, if you like. Clearly, though, it's not here. Mm. A supervillain must have stolen it, to the Bazzi signal. Hmm, interesting choice of words. Weren't you here to take it away? Wouldn't that make you an attempted thief? Mm. I came here because the man in the tower said to. I think. That definitely doesn't make it theft. Mm, it was stolen... Stolen by... Finish my thoughts, please, Mr. Wolfman. Every supernatural creature in Los Angeles is suspect, as are most human thieves. I suppose we may want to question magicians as well. Did you stare at the box? Sometimes I stare at things for hours. Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous, superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. Well, that's good. The old ones, tell me they're not real, please. The antediluvians? No one I know has ever met one. But each bloodline or clan supposedly traces its origin to an antediluvian. Some say these grandsires still exist into the present. But then, kindred and kind believe a lot of strange things. Mm. The G word makes me makes my thoughts frightened. What is it? Armageddon, Doomsday, the end of all kindred. It's a common facet of most mythologies. Fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. I'm very glad you disagree, because that sort of freaks me out. <laughs> yeah, the Dark Father? Where? Uh, tell me the other side so I can peel my eyes? Hmm. I could give a damn about the stuff. I just need to find the Sarkovsky. That's no nice. Let's talk about the Dark Father. Where is he? Cain, who I assume you mean is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological first city, Enoch. A place where kindred and kind coexisted. I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. Mm. I want to disagree with you, but I just don't know. Also, tell me the other signs so I can peel my eyes. What prophecy doesn't have vague, apocryphal signs? Let's see. The usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, cane sightings, doom, gloom, that route. Mm, tell me stories about thin kindred. Thin bloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. Many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? I want to disagree with you, but I don't know. As I said, many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. Kindred believed in these stories when they were human, and naturally carried them over into kindred myth. But it doesn't take a supernatural act to cause widespread destruction. Humans and kindred are just as capable of managing their own destruction as a deity. A self-realized Gehenna warrants more vigilance than a god-induced one, don't you agree? Such is my argument, which so frequently falls on deaf ears. Mm. <laughs> Your stories are a buffet for my mind. How long do they to did it take to prepare the feast? For 300 years I've been trying to determine the function of our existence, the kindred's role in the world. I'm not content to attribute it to some act of supernatural biblical vengeance. We exist for a reason. And if it takes another 300, I'll figure it out. Any thoughts? Ooh, we got stats increased. I don't know which ones. Uh, 
knowledge? Research, I guess, maybe? Ooh. Either way, that's really useful. Uh, antelopes exist. Why not vampires? <laughs> Somebody had to drink the blood of the living. The reason we exist is because the jellyfish will it so. Why else? You don't get it? Hee 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 We're a joke. Mm. I like the first one. Antelopes exist. Why not vampires? Can't say I've heard that one before. Look at my head nod. I can do this as I fall down. Remember, the truth won't be told in time. It will be told by us. Well, my work here is stolen away into the night. Think I'll do the same. Thanks, Beckett. Mm, if you do find the box, please put it in the night deposit slot of the tower. Ta! <laughs> we did the museum without killing anybody, which is great. Which makes us super popular. Woohoo! Yay, we love being popular. Okay, so we're back at the tower. And my stats went up. I'm not entirely sure which one it is. Research? Possibly? I don't know. I might have to look that up. I don't know which one I get from Beckett. I've completely forgotten. Hmm. Either way, we should probably inform the prince that we're pretty awesome. I mean, that that is what we do. And then we finally move on to somewhere else. But first of all, hello. Oh, excuse me. Uh, starting to doze off there. Oh, I need to get a guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Hmm, maybe one of them chimps like on that show Ape Detective? <laughs> oh, that, that monkey always gets his man. Mm, send me to the sky as quickly as you can. What? Oh, yeah, uh, Mr. LaCroix is expecting you. For a young guy, he, he sure likes to work late. Me, I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows. Hmm... We will converse in the moons later night. Toodles. Silly beefy scarecrow. <laughs> he says as he walks straight into a wall. Ding. Man, you know he's big business when you have a rotating sign. I wish I had a rotating sign, but I do not. Instead, I just have, you know. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> hey, how's that wall going? Staring at it good? Yeah, man. I don't think it's changed since the last time you said of it, but who am I to judge? I mean, if that's what takes your fancy, you know. You know, have fun with that. Can I jump on your head? Does this upset you? <laughs> Don't look up, pervert. The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sounder one, and that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. Mm. No, you wear the pants in this family. The city, she adores you. I've had my fill of sycophants. I need adjutants I can trust. Hmm. False. What's my part? Oh, what troubles you, my prince? The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head they will sharpen the pikes for. At least I can rest easy in knowing that you, my most promising attendant, has relieved me of one encumbrance tonight. Uh oh. Do you need assistance bringing the sarcophagus up to my office? I need assistance in locating the sarcophagus, so that's all the same. <laughs> it was stolen, but there were lots of dinosaurs, so I had fun. <sighs> stolen? Uh, stole. Stolen? Ooh. How? Who would. Oh, Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. Me too. Who's Gary? The Nosferatu primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the Dane, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now, my mistake. The Nos... I want him found. Ooh. I want him found. Found, I can do. The sarcophagus could be exploited. Exploited. Causing who knows what catastrophe to this city. Terrible catastrophe. If it were to fall into the wrong hands. Understood. Mm. First a dead man, then an old box. Now a Gary. It's like a scavenger hunt. The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood. But not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is... Unfortunately, lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's Baron is an Anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but... Nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. 
Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort her out. Hey. Haha. -ha. <laughs> I made him jump. Victory is mine. So, a blood hunt. A missing box. Gary. Exciting. We could go to Hollywood. But first, one more thing to do here. I'm gonna have a quick nosy in our apartment, check my emails. <laughs> it sounds like a, like a normal evening for me after work. And, you know, check out my ghoul and see. Damn it, blowjob man, stop phasing through the wall. Ugh, honestly. So, that is the things we need to check out. Then we can pop along to Hollywood. I mean, we could go and see the Anarx. They're gonna be a little pissed though. Mm. They're a little salty about the whole blood hunt thing. But I suppose we should probably tell them that wasn't my fault. And I really did see nines. Because they're probably not going to believe me, are they? They're really not going to believe me. Yeah. That's, that's going to be awkward. I should probably keep out the pub. Ding. So we made her go gothic. Hey. I went fishing today, and I caught a big one. Can you hear him flopping around the bathroom? That's how you can tell he's fresh. No, 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 no. Fish travel in schools. Where did you leave it? You don't like fish? I just thought, you know, it'd be a nice change of pace if you dined in for a change. I love fish, but... Yeah, that's that's sweet. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's great. Thanks, he thanks, Heather. She looks very different, as you can see. She's all shiny and squeaky, like some PVC or something. Okay, I better go deal with this mess. Oh boy. <clears throat> hey! Hey, what the hell is this shit? Let me out, goddammit! I'll kill that crazy bitch! Hmm. My little girl's a little like me. You go and we'll forget all of it? Psycho bitch brought me here, hit me in the head, and locked me up. What the fuck? I mean, who the fuck does that? Hmm. She is sorry, but this is actually very therapeutic for her, you see. Therapeutic? As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. Mm. <laughs> you should go to the cops right now. Tell them I've got a gun, piggies. Yeah, that's right. You better let me go. I'm going to the cops as soon as I leave. You just wait till they hear what I've got to say. Whatever you say. See ya, pal. <laughs> Have fun with that, kiddo. Alright, let's check my emails. Mm, that could have been messy. You, that's... I'm being watched. I know it. Something followed me. They could be watching me right now. Make them stop. Make them stop! Get their eyes off me! I do not sense any eyes here now. Are the eyes really gone? Will it really be okay? Hmm. The eyes are looking for me, not you. Hmm. You should stay here, probably. Let's see. This might be actually where we have to let her go already. Oh, I'm gonna have to let you go already, Heather? That's disappointing. If I don't let her go now, what will happen is she will end up getting killed. Which is not good. And I'd feel bad, because I just got another guy I just killed. No, this is the end. This is the end if you don't escape. But I... Uh, yeah, we can actually... I never existed. This never happened. All of this is a dream. Go outside and wake up. <coughs> I have to wake up. Get ready for school. What a weird dream this has been. What a strange person to dream about. <sighs> Goodbye, master of my dreams. Farewell, my house pet. It was the right thing to do. Hey, emails. Dink. Okay, we got new emails. Repaid favors. Let's have a look. Stop by my apartment. Oh, right, yeah. Don't touch the butter. A gambit has been played. The king leaves himself open. Hmm. Ooh, business in Hollywood. I have a certain financial interest in a restaurant in Hollywood called the Cavaletti Cafe. I have made an offer on the establishment but that is more than generous, but it seems that the owners are remiss to accept. It is my understanding that a renowned food critic named Tommy Flayton will be, waiting, uh, will be writing an article about the restaurant very soon. 
Please intercept him where he is. And make sure the review is unfavorable. I think we can manage that. Okay. One last thing before we go is to go and see the... Nothing in here. I'm so sad to let it go. I kind of had to, though. Uh, would have been a mess otherwise. Especially when she's getting stalked. Also, they could come back to me, which is not good. Last but not least, let's go and see the, uh, the Anarchs. I'm sure they'll be dead pleased to see us, you know. We're gonna be super popular, but let's say hey. You measly fuck, you got a lot of nerve showing up here, Lick. Why such hard words, Helter Skelter? You fingered nines. Said he killed a goddamn primogen. Hmm. His shadow crossed my path at the Primogen's palace. I'm willing to believe you are a patsy in all this. But I'll be watching you, kid. Uh, where is the name of numbers, anyway? Don't expect to see him until this bullshit is resolved. Mm. Okay, peace. Oh, well, better go apologize to Dan for this. Why are you in here? Nice. Hey, Damsel. You're not angry, are you? Heard anything? Uh, LaCroix wants that old box in the boat. It's probably just like the rolls of coffins or something. Lousy was bastard. Many voices speaking loud, saying nothing more. Okay, she's actually not at all cross with me, which is super weird, because she should be. She should be like, hey, what are you doing? Ooh. Hey, Misty. Okay, there's a name in the toilets. Is there a computer around here or something? Seriously, damsel not saying anything is super weird. I wonder if I had to talk to her twice or something. I know it sounds stupid, but sometimes it going in and out kind of resets and things. Heard anything? Mm, no. Okay, fair enough. Right then, thank you very much for watching the set. Uh, next time, we're going to go to Hollywood. We get a new outfit. Ooh, isn't that exciting? And a load of new quests. And, uh... It's a shame to end it here, but I've actually I've run out of time, because what I'd normally do is like to set up and give you some voting for what quest we do. But I'm sure what I can do is lead in with the main quest, and then we can decide from there. So, either way, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, bye-bye.